Today is a tiring route, where the closing kilometers should suit the punches and an opportunity to lead the general classification. We're amongst the outsiders for the stage win, and it will be difficult to surprise the favorites, but we should be able to finish in the top five. Good race, guys. Go, go! Hello and welcome back to some more Tour de France 2020 and part uh, six of our playthrough. This is the sixth stage of the Tour de France now and uh, we're closing in on that rest here. We desperately need it at the moment. We've got two mountain stages coming up. That could be a killer for our team uh, at the moment because we are pretty tired. So going to have to take it nice and easy today. Obviously Cavendish is the big hoped for guy in that initial sprint and then we've got uh, th well three very big climbs towards the end where we'll be looking to get Landa right towards the front so hopefully protecting him keeping his energy uh, as, as high as possible because it could really be a strong um, stage for us to, to, to get right back into the general classification I want to stay near Bernal and Thomas I think they're going to be in Fuglesang as well. I think they're going to be the ultimate challengers for this yellow jersey. So, without further ado, let's get into it. It is going to be a very tough stage, particularly towards the end. Uh, not too much happening at the start, hopefully. Um, unless there's an objective where they want one of our uh, riders in the breakaway, I think we are just going to once again stick. Uh, within the, the the peloton here and, uh, and and not bother with the breakaway so to speak so uh, hopefully that will work out for us so finishing the first five finishing the first 20 uh, retain the lead retain the lead okay so I don't think that there's too much going on I think we'll go with Caruso so that we don't ruin uh, anyone's chances I think Caruso could well Hello, be cut at some everywhere. point if today there's no doubt that the winner will have to be a proven climber, it's hard to predict whether a GC favourite or a Baroudeur will be victorious at the top of the Mont Aiguel. The teams interested in the general classification might not want to burn calories chasing down the early breakaway. So yeah, that's exactly what we what we want to do. We want to stay in this peloton. Uh, I'm going to say straight away, ensure a minimum tempo. I'm going to fast forward, we're going to let anybody that wants to go, go. Going, except for those who want to be part of the early breakaway. We'll only get down to the real business inside the final 50 kilometers. Enjoy yourselves. So let's just keep it nice and tight the in the peloton and hard. hopefully Stay well placed. Hopefully we'll be alright. So I'll see you guys at that first sprint. At this, uh, at the first sprint, of course, I think try and keep our guys pretty cosy within the pellet, and I don't think we need to exert ourselves too much. I think try and get Cavendish these nine points that are available, and uh, well, I don't know who that is at the at the front there. It might be Caruso. Can't quite tell, but three kilometres from the end here. No, it's Colbrelli. Well, we might as well tell him to um, attack when it comes to it. But it's downhill. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. So we'll tell Colbrelli to uh, follow attacks. And uh, everyone else, I think, just, just stay cosy. Okay, I'll follow any attack. So we've got 1.3 kilometers to go. There's the one kilometer line. Whoops. We're going to go for it. Don't think we're going to quite have enough with Cavendish here. Not quite. It's going to be seven points, but that's not too bad. Right, so I think everybody to uh, take all of their feeds. And that'll be. That'll be just about good enough. So we'll tell him to take his blue gel. Um, I mean, everybody else just doesn't have anything okay, to worry about. But uh, we'll tell him to wait for the following you group, I think. There's no real need to stay the out of the pellet. 
So let's uh, get ourselves nice and cosy in the peloton Again. and hopefully we'll see ourselves in with a chance here. In the peloton it's looking good so far. Well, we're here at uh, the second cl second class the uh, climb. Don't worry. They're not well placed in the overall standings. We're not that worried about the polka dot jersey going anywhere with the guys at the drop. front. The stage is too much for him. We just need to try and protect Lander as much as we can here. Possibly take a bit of feed, but I'm I'm reluctant to do so at the moment. You know, we want to stay well placed in the peloton because this is where it's going to get moved about now. The good news for us is I think everybody except Cavendish is is up here, so there's something good. Just need to keep Lander as much energy as possible so another 2.7 kilometers to go don't really want to push too hard yet I know people are going for it but I'm going to take a risk and, and hold back just, to, just a little bit I'll take a little bit of feed just to try and top that blue energy up there will be a little downhill section at the top where we can hopefully get some of our energy back. But we need Lander well placed for the finish. Colbrelli's been dropped. That's absolutely fine. Right. There's Caruso. He's looking pretty tired. There's uh, 0.8 kilometers to go. Breakaway is unlikely to go all the way, guys. Watch out for counter moves. Come on. Just need to keep ourselves to ourselves here. Not worry about all these guys who are, are pushing pretty hard. Valverde gets the five points. Kavadkovsky got uh, quite a few there. And there's Hardly Toynes. three kilometres of a breather for the first riders before they come to the right. foot of the Col de la Luzette. Then they'll Let's face more than 11 of kilometers of climbing on an average slope of 7.2%. It may be possible to create some gaps here before even getting onto the Mont Igual. So we need to be careful here. We're 44 seconds behind the peloton. Just need to catch up. Right, so it's going to get steep, but at the top it's pretty flat. So if we're well placed. We should be all right here. I think stick with with Quals if we can. There we go. This has got to be the best strategy. Quals is is pretty good in these situations. Come on, so Dai's just dropped behind there. Bill Bow's heading up as well. Right. So we're going to tell Bill Bow to take his blue gel and then he's going to protect Lander. Okay, I'm coming to protect you. Well, maybe not. Lander's staying pretty good though. There's just the time bonus at the top, which is, is what we want really. Come on. Keep going, Lander. This is going okay so far. So, five kilometers to go. Gonna stay with Fuglesang. Take a bit more blue gel. We just need to get up this little stretch here. Geraint Thomas is there. Watch out for him. He's attacking behind. Quintana's coming as well. 
So Alaphilix, the uh, yellow jersey man, is 22 Over seconds Rebbe. ahead. Reduce the tempo or you'll pay the price. Let's get a bit more feed. Just a little bit more pain to take here. Cannot afford to blow up here. Nearly there. It's gonna get it's gonna get shallower. Attack! Watch out, lads! This is dangerous for us! I don't know what to think of this. He's got his teammates riding because in front there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standings. I think we're going to end up blowing up here. Which is a disaster really. We King might of the get two points in here. Two kilometers for the breakaway group. Come on. Right, we've used our feeds now. Right. Fifty seconds behind this this could be going a lot better. The front riders yeah, will be. soon go over the top of the Col de la Luzette. They'll then have five kilometers of flat and descent before reaching the final ramp towards the finish. So Alaphilix managed to get it. Pino finishes second. Bernal third. The head of the race. Quintana fourth. We're going to finish fifth. Now then. Downhill. Here we go. So we beat Thomas. We don't get any sort of time bonus unfortunately. But. I'm trying to. Keep our gap towards the the lead as good, but I'm not sure we can cope with it with another climb. Ten kilometers from the finish for the head of the race. It's going to be difficult for them, especially with the short climb to the line. I mean, surely they're going to be getting tired now. There's Geraint Thomas. Let's follow him. Seems sensible. Right. So hopefully those two can help each other up here. Five kilometers for the breakaway. It's going to be nip and tuck with the final small climb. Last time checked with the breakaway. One minute. Well, final kilometer. We're going to go for it. Almost look out of strength. Well, look after yourself if you want to. We finish ahead of Thomas, which I guess is is good. Everybody else is just so far behind. Um, yeah, we might as well just finish the stage. It was always going to be tough. It really was, but we need one of these to go for us because Ala Felix is just fin winning all of them. Cavendish is well behind. Seventeen minutes. Goodness me. But there you go. He finishes and. Uh, well, who was it that won the stage in the end? I mean, we finished ahead of Thomas, which was good. We had a bit of energy in reserve. Right at the end there. That was uh, a tiring old stage for us. You've got to say, losing another minute, not ideal. But anyway, a few minutes ago he was first across the finishing line. Here is the winner of Latel Monte Gualde.
can say that everything is going well for him. He's amongst the leading run. He tops the stand. We can say that. Not ideal that Ala Felix won the stage. That's just. I mean, well he also done, got guys. the time bonus. We're where He's we should be. Gonna be we were aiming ahead. for a top five spot, and you did the job. I'm happy with that. We retain the green jersey. Well done, guys. So you know, he gets 18 seconds knocked off. He's building quite a lead. He's three minutes ahead of Rodgelick now. Vogel sang three minutes 35, 3:43 for Thomas. We're three minutes 50. Still ahead of Banal. He's the favourite, you would say. So. You know, I've got to say, we're doing a decent job. Best climber, Mahoric, is leading the way still there. Cavendish um, increases his, his lead uh, at the top. Alaphilix is actually closing in on him. Um, not surprised after winning that stage. But, uh, well, there you go. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Let's have a little look at our recovery. I mean, look at the Toynes. He's going to struggle. Lander, he, he's... Keeping his, his, his fitness up. Uh, Mahoric is, is back to full fitness. Cavendish is doing alright. Uh, Puels and, uh, is doing alright as well. Kilbrelli. Uh, so it's Caruso and Toynes that are, are struggling at the moment for fitness. Bilbao just about hanging on as well. But uh, there you go. There's another stage done. And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for uh, daily Tour de France videos throughout the real life Tour de France. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.